I'm voting no for 744. It sends money into, quote, education with no guarantees of how or where it will be spent, no accountability. When I taught at the university, 50% of students who enrolled in college algebra failed that course. That should be a routine course for a college-bound student. It is very uh, distressing to see students come from high schools where they've made A's and B's all through their, their studies and step into a college course, something like college algebra, a beginning college level course, and fail. Money is not the answer. Teaching the basics is the answer. If we go back to the three R's, as, uh, as weird as that sounds, it could put our, our students on a better basis. I'm a small business owner and a homeowner in Oklahoma, and I'm really against this 744 on several levels. We've got a deliberative process here. What we do is when we elect the legislature to go down there and represent us and make decisions for us, and this would really handcuff the, the, uh, the legislature in their duty. Every year we get together and we go down there and we have a budget process and the legislature, they, they assess the economic environment that we're under at the time. And based on what they see, they make decisions and budget money to different things. This would take that away from our legislature. Like I said, it would actually give the power to the legislatures that surround, surround our state. I think we need to leave that legislative process to the legislature, our elected representatives, and we can change these things as need be from time to time. State question 744, it's about the children, right? Wrong. I disagree. 744 has no oversight. There's no guarantee that that money is going to go to our kids or our teachers. So, uh, it's unfunded. Uh, where's the money going to come from? Taxpayers, maybe? They're projecting uh, state income tax and state sales tax will increase over 30%. How is that going to help our children when 30% of our household income is going to pay taxes and 30% uh, of our grocery bill is going to go for more taxes? We really need a common sense approach to the problem. We need more local control, not more bureaucratic control. Hi, I'm a small business owner here in Oklahoma City. I've been here about 30 years. Uh, I've been through House Bill 1017, through the lottery, through Maps for Kids. My applicants that come in to apply for jobs at, at my business are not getting any better. Uh, a lot of them can't read. Most of them haven't uh, graduated from high school. Uh, I don't see that throwing more money at this problem is going to help. Uh, we need reform, not more money. I lived in Oklahoma all my life, and first of all, we had the liquor by the drink was going to solve our education problem. And then we had parimutuel betting, and it was going to solve our education problem. And that, then we had the lottery, and it was supposed to call, solve the education problem. And we keep throwing money at the education system, and it never gets any better. I'm voting no on 744. My name is Don Powers, and I'm going to vote no on 744. It's just simply doing the same thing that we've done in the past, throwing money at a problem that needs something more than money. I've taught in our colleges, and I've seen the type of student that has come out of our public school system. When they get in college, they're not even capable of doing work that I used to do in junior high school. 744 gives us no guarantees that there will be any better teaching in our schools than there is now. I'm voting no on 744. It's the wrong way to go. I just wanted to tell you I'm really supporting this vote no on 744. When I first came to Oklahoma, Oklahoma was a dry state. And we had what we call liquor by the drink proposal and it was gonna fund education far into the future. It wasn't but just a short time later we come up with House Bill 1017. 1017 was gonna be the answer to education. And then it wasn't long after that we had the sin tax and we taxed alcohol and we taxed the back of some more. So then we had the infamous lottery and it's going to take care of education. What education about today, what 744 is about, it is about money. That's all it's about. It's not about education. And we certainly can't depend on the other states to fund 744 by averaging our expenses based on what they spend. This is Oklahoma. We take care of Oklahomans.